Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Well, uh, it's been a long road, I'm tired. We are at level 69, on the brink of hitting level 70. Uh, 181,000 in the bank. I don't even know how many days, so I didn't really take notice at the end of yesterday, so I don't know, it's like 150 days or something, it's pretty insane but yeah we've, we've got some money uh, i haven't hit the target of 213 which would have unlocked the next three licenses and all four of these expansions but i've got enough to get started so let's get stuck in it's a really nice day outside it's very pretty until you figure out that there's no way to get out of this town Anyway, so let's uh, just recap quickly. Here's my storage. Uh, I have uh, storage racks. I don't know if the layout is exactly efficient. Um, I know that there's a much bigger space there, but that's just kind of how things work out. Uh, there might be a better way to lay this out. I am not 100% sure, but I will try and figure things out. Uh, I do have space on the racks just in case I need to store more stuff. And I will need to store more stuff because, yeah, we, we have more stuff so if we go into management here are the next licenses so each of them are twenty-two thousand. so that's sixty-six thousand right there but this does introduce some more products different products which i'm hoping will bring in more clientele uh, we've got books and we've got pet food the rest of the stuff is just like cleaning products in terms of growth the next four which is the the four that will expand the width of the store if you add them all up, I uh, believe it comes to 147,000. So that would be the 213,000 needed without actually buying any products. So just uh, running through the shop, we have our party drink section. We have our uh, butchery. I uh, brought the potatoes down to this side. Uh, chicken, pizza, pizza, ice cream. Uh, there's the potato crispy jobs, the pops, the frozen vegetables, uh, crab sticks, french fries. This is all the dairy. I did move things around a little bit here. I moved the cheese that I had up there down to here and I moved the cream cheese into this because the tubs look similar. So now I can't actually remember what else I might have moved around. I, I did, yes, this I did do. I moved the, the coffee and the tea down so that I could have this shelf space available for books and then probably going to have the pet food down on this end somewhere for now for now anyway the layout's going to change dramatically and then over on this side we've got the eggs uh, small sushi large sushi all the cold meat type things the tuna sodas uh still water sparkling water orange juice and apple juice so we do have space for extra things if they do come along uh, i also have the the three check out counters i could put another mirrored one over here i'd have to move things around a little i do have space for that if i have to but right now i'm not really concerned about that at all because i need to i need to expand the store now i don't know if this is going to add store level points if i buy this expansion so i'm going to do it let me buy one expansion and purchase nope no store level points so what I'm probably going to have to do is buy more stock to push that over level 70. Otherwise, I will not be able to buy any licenses. I need level 70 for these three. Let's see what we what we have here. All right, this is cool. So body drink section will move back a little bit. This will give us more space. It also gives us an idea of, of all the space that we're going to have coming down here. There's a lot of room. And considering how close we are to having almost all the products um yeah we, we're gonna have lots of space to play with all right uh, i'm going to go and buy products until i hit level 70. yeah i think i could use some more of the cheese get some more of that uh we don't really need any more pasta maybe another yogurt not even sure if i've got space on the shelves for all of these things uh i think what will give a lot of points would be the steak and the chops because they are very expensive so i'll take one of each of those Let's check out and see. Dawn. No, not. Yeah, I got a long way to go. Okay, I'm so close, but it looks like I may have to run it for another day. 
it's a small pain in the bottom, but yeah, I, I'm running out of space to put stuff and I, I don't really want to buy any more stock. I actually need the money. So I'm going to run it for a day. Uh, at some point, I'm going to hit the level 70 and then we can we can do the new products. Oh, it's got to be now. Nah, there you go. There you go. We got store level 70. It's about time. All right. Well, that took a heck of a long time. All right, we are there. Uh, I will let this uh, day finish off. We'll run through it and then we'll go get those extra licenses. See you then. Okay, it looks like the last customer has left. So we can end the day. Wow, it's day 172. 58 customers, which is pretty good. Income still not great. But uh, yeah, we've got lots of points. And uh, we've got some money again. So let's start the next day. Olive oil, salmon, and keg. Right, and that sorts out the pricing adjustments. Let's get some new products. Okay, I would have put this to the vote, but... Uh, oh, uh, just just so that before I do that, I need to mention that I did rearrange the lights. So the lights actually line up now with the, with the rows of shelves. I also put another light up here just to light this little area. They can be moved, so it's not a problem. I also rearranged lights in here because I, I had them position pretty badly but now they work all right let's get to the business all right licenses uh the first one i want to go for is books because it's something completely new so we'll get that one and i'm also thinking that maybe i want to do the one with the pet food all the rest of the stuff is just cleaner but if i do the one with the pet food it's a new product and uh possibly maybe attract different customers i don't know so we'll get that, and then we need to go to the market. I'm going to do my oops, I'm going to do my normal process, and go right to the bottom and get a box of each of the new things that we've ordered. All right, perfect. The ten items. So I'm going to buy those. Let's go and pop them on the shelves and see what we've got. Okay, so this will be uh, dog food. Okay, perfect. One box fills the spot. This is cat food. We'll put this up here. And this is the other cat food. I think this is a cleaning product, so I can't remember exactly what it was, but I do have space, so I'll pop it up here. Uh, these are like wet wipes. And then we can get into the books. Okay, so starting here, I think I'm maybe just going to do one shelf of each. I don't know if I need more than that. All right, so I'll have to keep an eye on how quickly these move. But there are other books coming later on, so it's not, not a bad idea to have some space around them. That's, that's all the new stuff. Let me go and sort out the pricing. Then this is the last one. I'm going to get a few more boxes of uh, things to back up. So I'm thinking maybe just one more box of each, maybe two of the wet wipes. All right. With that, we have stock on the shelves. Everything's priced. Now, we also have enough money to buy another expansion. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And that would be 31000 Excellent. And we still have 82,000 left. It's enough for one of those and another license. I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, let's see how... Ooh, we have to start moving things around. All right, well, there you go. There's our next section open. Now, as far as I can see from the expansions, uh, this actually goes out one more block and another block in that direction. This is going to be quite a large area. All right, there are a couple of things I need to just top up on before we continue. So let me get all of that sorted out and I'll be back with you to start off the day. I have everything pretty much stocked up. I don't think I've missed anything. So it's time to run another day. Let's open the store. Marvel at the weather. Looks like some bad weather coming over from that side. But I think maybe we could do a little time lapse here.
And that ends the day. Last customer is out. So let's finish the day and see how we did. 56 customers still struggling to get more. Uh, store points, 350. Yeah, you don't get anything off upgrades. Income's 4,000, so not great. I'm starting to think maybe I should push my prices up above the, the market rate. I did experiment with it for a while. It didn't really make too much of a difference as far as I could tell. But anyway, that's, uh, that's where we are. We had all the products. Nothing was found expensive. No one was shortchanged, so all good. Soda, book, coffee, and hummus. This one here changed. Yes, so 3.3. Okay. So that's all the prices updated for the day. There's probably a lot of stock that I, I'm going to need to replenish. But it was pretty productive. I, I see things aren't really increasing, and I do understand that this is an early access game, so the profit seems stagnant, the number of customers seems stagnant. I'm still going to carry on playing, although it's a bit of a, a slog. I would like to see more customers coming through. Yeah, so right now, I've basically got three checkout counters and they're handling everything fine, so there's no reason that we couldn't have an increase in the number of customers by at least 25%. I reckon my tools could handle 85 customers, maybe. 80 to 85 shouldn't be a problem. But I'm sure that is being worked on. So I'm not too stressed. Uh, I am enjoying this, regardless of the, the grind. And I do want to finish these last two sections. Uh, Going to need to save some money because they're very expensive. And there's another license to unlock. And that is for some more cleaning products. Which... Uh, I could easily accommodate because I have space on the back wall with the with the rest of the stuff. Anyway, that will be for another time. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Give me your comments. Let me know what you think of the game. It has such massive potential. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm also enjoying all the, the feedback that I'm getting from uh, people in my comments. Lots of likes and views. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. And until next time, cheers.